your auto, mate. What's going on guys, it's Cynical and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys have been doing okay over these past few weeks. I do apologize that there hasn't been any content coming out. I decided to take uh, a small little hiatus before the ramp up of all of the craziness that we're about to dippity dive straight into. Uh, come of course the month of November. Boys, we, we are here dudes. We're fucking here, man. We got next gen going on, baby. We got Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory right round the fucking corner. It's like I've got 62 pounds of sand in my throat, but hey, that's okay. Yeah, sorry about the raspy voice, by the way. I went to a music festival uh, last weekend, and uh, it, it pays to not yell uh, the goose is loose at, at the top of your voice whilst roaming around the festival grounds. Um, y you learn from these sort of things. Now guys, I thought I'd get a video out just of course saying, Hey, hi, uh, I'm here. Uh, obviously, Melody of Memory is not too far away. It comes out in a day or two depending on whereabouts you are in the world. I thought I'd use this video to talk about my Melody of Memory plans as well as also just talk about some stuff that I missed whilst I was gone. So let's jump straight into it. So first things first, let's talk about Melody of Memory and the fact that we are not too far away, but we are now in the having to stay safe mode. Now, of course, this is a normal procedure whenever we are in that final stretch towards a game's release, it's always lockdown mode, just if in case any spoilers slip through the cracks, if in case of leaks or people receiving early copies by either illegal means or means that are illegal for one party or another. Um, yeah, that's kind of happened here with Melody of Memory. There have been instances of some retailers handing out early copies of MOM uh, starting at the start of this week. We of course also know that uh, Japan ended up receiving the game on the 11th, so there is currently a lot of Melody of Memory content out there. In fact, if you guys want to, you can even go ahead and watch all of the cutscenes for MOM as of right now, in amongst countless amounts of gameplay. Basically, the full game experience is on the internet, so stay safe, fellas. Use your muted words, use the muted hashtags, use whatever means necessary in order to ensure that you get that juicy, clean, fresh experience. I gotta say, leading up to MOM though, it's been pretty good. We haven't had any major leaks or any sort of craziness, and I was kind of expecting this to be a a uh, more kickback, relaxed uh, Kingdom Hearts experience leading up to that of the launch in the sense of avoiding leaks and uh, crazy content and information coming out beforehand. Uh, just because of what this game is, it isn't a fully blown KH game, it's a smaller KH title. And also just knowing how much content is in this game in comparison to other Kingdom Hearts games, this is probably why we haven't seen this Kingdom Hearts game being leaked as much as others in the past. Now my official content plans for Melody of Memory. These have sort of changed a little bit upon finding out about some specific information to do with the game in regards to the actual game's length and exactly how much story related content is within MOM. Now uh, I do actually have some information here and if you guys would rather not know exactly uh, how much story related stuff is within Melody of Memory, uh, please click off as of right now because I am actually going to reveal that to you guys. So thanks to Audrey over on Twitter who's been playing the Japanese version of Melody of Memory. Uh, she ended up finishing MOM, wrapped it up very well quick. She said that uh, in the sense of the story mode for the game, it came in at 7.5 hours. Now keeping in mind that Square in previous interviews said that the story mode will take you about 10 hours. So yeah, I, I guess they kind of weren't wrong, 7.5 right here. I'm also not too sure about uh, Audrey's skill set when it comes to rhythm games, but uh, yeah, 7.5 hours. But in the sense of the new cutscene content, that only comes in at about 15 minutes. This sort of tells me that yeah, Melody of Memory is going to start off with some cutscenes at the start and end with a bunch of cutscenes. Nothing really in between, which is sort of what I was expecting from the get-go anyway. But 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Oh shit. Okay, okay. That that's a slim gym. That that's not a thick gym. That's a slim gym. So yeah, not too much story content to be found in MOM. Again, sort of to be expected. But uh, I I don't know if I was so much expecting 15 minutes. However, though, upon finding out about this, this has sort of changed my whole plans and stuff towards. Uh, my content for Melody of Memory. Now, initially I was actually going to do a full-blown type Let's Play 
series. But honestly, looking at the story content, I think that is going to change. I am going to be simply just playing Melody and Memory in my own time, blasting through it this week instead, of course, we can talk about all of that good stuff come next week. But what I am going to try to do is I'm going to try record during those cutscene moments. The only issue with this is I'm not going to know exactly when a bounce uh, a cutscene is going to come on, so I'm going to have to essentially play it by ear, but I still want to be able to get those reactions out to you guys if I can. On my socials, I have been seeing people that have decided to go ahead and watch the story content saying that it is very much worthwhile. Even though there's not a lot to experience in this game in the sense of the story, uh, it's still definitely worth your time. The other thing too is I was thinking about the gameplay that of course is contained within Melody of Memory being that it's a rhythm game. I was sort of thinking that, is this going to make for interesting Let's Play content uh, considering the fact that we're going to be doing the exact same thing basically in every single episode. Of course the difficulty will ramp up as we progress through story mode. But, but you, you get where I'm coming from here. So I'm kind of looking forward to being able to actually just sit down and like blitz through this KH game uh, in my own time. Uh, as you guys know, generally speaking, when a new Kingdom Hearts game comes out, uh, I will get around to let's playing it and that means I can't experience the game unless of course I'm on camera recording. While I do of course enjoy doing that, that goes without saying, because Kingdom Hearts is my all time favorite video game series, I also at the same time want to sit down in my own time and indulge it for myself. So I'm kind of looking forward to doing that for this KH title this time around. If it was a fully blown KH title, of course, I would be going through with the whole Hi, how's it going? Part 64 here. Yeah, let's get straight back into it. But I think we're just going to go for the cutscene reaction stuff. And of course, talk about all that goodness once I've wrapped up the game. We'll most certainly have content of me playing the game and most likely losing my left nut over the harder difficulties, whether it be via video content or streaming. But I think that just for the initial story mode run through, uh, I'm going to do in my own time. However though, yeah, this would come in at the shortest Kingdom Hearts game uh, out of the bunch. Even when we look towards something like Kingdom Hearts Recoded, that game still comes in at about the 20 hour mark. So. Melody of Memory is well and truly the shortest Kingdom Hearts title. Also, I just want to add with Audrey saying that the story mode only took us 7.5 hours, keeping in mind that's just the story mode. That's not absolutely every area of the game uh, complete done. Still, there's a lot of content uh, to go through after you've done the story mode with getting all of the higher ranks for all of the different songs, doing the synthesizing to of course unlock the memory dive stuff. Also the collection aspects, you've got the multiplayer modes. Obviously though, I'm still yet to experience everything that Melody of Memory has to offer, so I definitely do want to return to the topic of whether or not this game is worth the full price price tag. I think the big idea of Melody of Memory is the replayability side of things, being that there are multiple different difficulties and ranks to achieve on each song, you'll find yourself playing these same songs again and again and again and again to achieve that perfect score. That's where a lot of the game time is going to be found. One final thing that I definitely do want to talk about is a really cool reveal that Square ended up doing for Melody of Memory last week, and that was revealing to us that there is a old model Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie like an, an old KH model from like any other game previous to that of uh, 0 0.2 in Kingdom Hearts 3 in the old Kingdom Hearts engine uh, of Kyrie's Kingdom Hearts 3 model. Now this pretty much tells us that Kyrie's probably gonna be fucking playable uh, in this game and I know we're not getting the full Kyrie experience or anything like that but but still this this pretty much tells us that yeah Kyrie should be playable. I can't see Square making an old version of KH3 Kyrie uh, for cutscenes, that wouldn't make sense at all, they'll just end up using the Unreal Engine 4 assets for that. Uh, so the only reason why they would go ahead and make an old model of KH3 Kyrie is for the purpose of gameplay. So I would say, yeah, pretty much expect to play as Kyrie in MOM. However guys, that's all for today's video, just thought I would keep you guys in the loop with everything that is going on. I think the next piece of content that I am going to be getting out is uh, taking a look at Kingdom Hearts 3's performance on the PlayStation 5. Look at those fucking lips, Sora. Oh my god.
god, sexy, my boy. But yeah, seeing if KH3 has any benefits or improvements with playing it on the PlayStation 5. I'm expecting faster load times, but I would also like to have that locked 60 frames per second. Kingdom Hearts 3's frame rate is unlocked, and on the PlayStation 4 Pro, for the most part, it plays at about 60 frames per second, but there are instances throughout the game where there are a lot of different things happening where that can actually dip. And not that KH3's load times or anything too crazy on PS4 or Xbox One, uh, still, it would be nice to have those slightly improved. Okay, guys, hopefully you did have a fantastic day. I'm Cynical, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.